Hi everybody. As you all know, I have offered my free uh, live session trading to all of you guys and uh, fortunately we have over 150 emails uh, sent by different traders that who want to attend my live session. So uh, I thought, you know, like I, I should make one of the videos, one of the slideshows or something like that to 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 discuss that how you can benefit from my live trading, you know. Uh, so basically my live trading uh, can can simply be uh, 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 can simply be benefited uh, if we know very few simple uh, basics of price action you know uh, the main key factor is understanding how support and resistance works in price action which I have taken few slides and uh, I'm gonna discuss with you guys so support and resistance, you know, this is daily chart for S&P uh, showing the different price action here, as you can see. It's in the trading range. It was, you know, like it was in the trading range from, from several months. And the traders have made a lot of money buying options, uh, uh, trading, you know, futures and, and different, different platforms, you know. So you see, this is the support, this is the resistance here. And if you see, uh, uh, as it reaches its resistance, as it's reaching here, 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 I mean, like uh, there is not enough buying pressure that it can go above it, and 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 it's it's getting a pullback. It's getting a pullback. This was the support of a uh, very just touch one, two, three, four times, four times in the last so many months. It it uh, uh, it touched its support most of the times. It was bullish. So. When a trading range gives in bullish bullish action, we often buy low, sell high. Let's see. Uh, this is the violation of our support, which just happened a few months ago. So after the support was taken, you can see all this sell off happening. You know, this support is uh, violated again. We saw the sell off from this support. We saw saw the bounce. What happened here at this support? What happened is all the guys who were holding, who were buying low. As it was a bull trading range, who were buying low, they sold. Uh, as, as they saw the uh, support has been taken, uh, they sold their positions, and short sellers came in, and they 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 were selling as well. So there was a panic sell. There was there was there was only sellers. You know, there was no buyers to control this this sell off. You know. So and we can see uh, from this support, which is October low, we saw the bounce. So support and resistance works a lot over here. This position here, the resistance, we saw the pullback. This was in a trading range. We saw the pullback here, and over here, the uh, 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 there was consolidation buying going on near the resistance, and this was our breakout. After the breakout, we saw the follow through. After this follow through, this is the pullback and we saw next leg up. So basically to understand support and resistance during the daily uh, chart, monthly and weekly, it's very important for us, you know. Uh, for day trader, we need to understand the market cycle, uh, what happens uh, in a five minute chart. You know, market cycle has trading range, breakout, trend. And uh, it goes on, you know, trading range, breakout trend, then after trend, we get into trading range. In the five minute chart, this thing is, is happening all the time. I have taken the example of S&P uh, from October 30th, uh, 2015, five minute chart. If you see after the open, this was the open. After the open, we get into a trading range. This was the trading range. And this was the trading range breakout. This was the trading range breakout pullback, which then came in the trading range. And this trend line, we saw the bounce. So this was our entry point. This entry point gave us good, good uh, results. You know, this was a pullback and then we saw the entry point. But at the high of this thing, we were making uh, a resistance because we were not able to take the next leg up very far. And the second slide, if you see uh, this trend line, this was the break of our trend line. You know, it's the same line. I had it in the previous slide. And this is the breakout failure follow through. So this was our shot. You know, this entry, we will shot. We will shot and we will, we will have our stop just a tick or two tick above E-mini. Or if you're doing options, you can have your support here. You can see how far it goes. And you see, we saw the bounce here. So that means this bounce. So we are in a trading range again. This is a trading range support. So if 
so our i mean during the daytime we have to often often think you know what we are doing what next uh, support is coming you know what next trading range what next trend is coming you know where is the breakout so this was the breakout here this was the follow through but we saw this this candle is this candle is buying or maybe these short guys are covering these short guys are covering reason we we already have a, a good leg up but this bull leg is is getting into a trading range and we have one two three four we have four consecutive bars without any bull bar so next bull bar any i mean we get so many days we get this kind of a thing over here one two three four bull bar you know after one two three four bull bar you know after three four uh strong bull bars you know we often see uh this bull bar uh is going to fail you know and if we have too many tails on the bear bar as you can see here we often see that it's it's gonna get next leg up you know someone is buying as the selling pressure increasing someone is buying you know so so i mean these are the few things which we'll be discussing a lot in our in our uh, live session uh, which we're gonna have it from monday so you see we again have a trading range breakout you know trading range breakout trend trading range breakout trend it's all day every day if you know what we are doing if you know where uh, where we are heading we can make a lot of money you know so you we had a trading range breakout so our stop goes over here after the breakout we need to see the follow through and this is the follow through you know red line is showing the trend so after this breakout there was a lot of money to be made what would happen this support this was our support uh, the open uh, uh, the low of the day we even took the low of the day but at the low of the day we saw there are there are too many tails coming so hesitation in our bear bar gives us at least 5 10 15 20 minutes before it 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 gives us any loss so this was a swing trade you know we would have made a lot of money here over here and again we saw the trading range you know same trend trading range again we are waiting for the breakout there this was the breakout a lot many guys bought here but we saw a black candle um, bear candle over here bear bar over here the reason is the breakout didn't have the follow through whoever bought it they were selling and the short sellers were selling after that we again had trading range breakout we again made money every day breakout failure you know uh, the breakout follow through too many bear bars and we have a bull bar you know we just have to we, we have to uh, understand understand the price action what it's doing it's not it's gonna look difficult but once we're gonna do, go to the live trading I'm gonna discuss with you guys that what's happening you know like what are the probabilities uh, uh, where is the pullback pullback getting bought you know over here if you see the pullback is is at the 50 person but majority of the time price action gives us the right right direction you know like and 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 give us a good profit at the end of a day so uh trading range how to deal with trading range you know like uh, uh most of the days we only get trading range price action in our market and and there are there are traders pro traders who make a lot of money from this price action in a trading price action it's very simple we should be buying low if we are in a bull trend and after a bull lag we are getting uh, a trading range you know we should buy low sell high or if we are in a bear trend we should we should uh, sell high and buy low you know and uh, uh, this th this goes all day long and we can make a lot of money you know this is very profitable trading ranges are very very profitable on a longer term on a day trading uh, on, a, on a daily chart if we do uh, with the options and all that you know we go with the option buying and call, buy po calls buy puts and all okay this is a trading range in an option trading you know uh, how we can make a lot of money as a swing trader you know we should buy at the support we should buy at the support and we should sell at the resistance you know buy at the support sell at the resistance that's all we should do you know trading range gives a lot of money if we can just uh, trade with options you know okay when we are when we when should we buy we should not buy our our puts at this black candle we should buy when it's going up we should we should buy while when it's going up because at that time the price of your puts to buy will be uh, 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 will be very less because the probability will will not be seen as much but as we are in a trading range this 
has to fail. So most of the guys, they start scaling in. Like I didn't, yes, I didn't have this slide here, but yesterday, if you go to my Twitter account, you can see I made good money on, on Amazon. I scaled in higher because, and I think Monday, it's going to be a black day for Amazon. You know, we can see a, a bad pullback, you know. That's again a prob probability, you know. Here we have uh, the most important uh, uh, thing to understand is a four hour nap time uh, when the market goes into a sleeping mode, what I call it, you know, it goes in the sleeping mode, you know. Um, in, in the sleep mode, market goes into tight range where every bull bar will seem like it's going to the breakout, you know. And, and every bear bar will look like, you know, okay, we are having a bear breakout. For this reason, you know, uh, we tend to make so many mistakes. We take so many trades. And at the end of the day, after taking so many trades, after getting tired, we end up in either uh, a break even or a loss or a little bit of a profit but uh, we get so tired that uh, uh, we get kind of a, a, a paralysis analysis you know like we, we can we can we cannot analyze right after that you know but the last hour it's just like the first hour where we can make a lot of money um, uh, so I would advise you know we should keep our brain fresh take a nap in the afternoon you lose money doesn't matter last hour first hour will give you so much money that we can make good good living out of that day trading as a profession uh, i have learned one thing that it needs a lot of discipline discipline and a lot of discipline you know uh, i cannot stress it enough discipline is the key for for a day trader you know if um, uh, if you can't uh, control your emotions if you can't be trading in a discipline then i don't think this is the right decision for you to be a day trader you can be a swing trader um, on a discipline, you know, um, uh, I don't like to listen to TV, news, gurus, pundits, you know, like I often see the Fed news. When is the Fed news coming? Because, you, know, you know, when we are trading the market, S&P, NASDAQ or uh, uh, any other market, you know, we, we, uh, we're least concerned about the uh, when is the earnings or something like that. You know, we are concerned about uh, if the uh, Fed, when is the Fed meeting, you know, uh, uh, when the Fed, any, any federal news can affect the market or not, you know. And uh, uh, I do not like to see someone else saying I bought this, I sold that. If we if we sheep walk them, if we follow them, then how will we have confidence in our trade? How can we make money? We cannot make money likewise, you know. So uh, uh, I advise you do not chase the trades. You know, it's someone else putting on on Twitter or someone else putting on any blog site or asking you to pay them the money so that they can give you the leads. Why? You can do it yourself. You know, you do not need nobody. A human brain is self-sufficient. If you, if you stress it enough, if you can be in discipline, you can make a lot of money. For any given reason, I do not feel I'm not ready for uh, the trading or I, I don't feel focused or or I had late night, you know, like something like that. I don't trade because I don't want to lose my money what I, what I made yesterday or last month or last week, you know. The other thing is uh, we often get emotional when we have mental stops. We do not want to have mental stops that when mental stops, uh, when trade goes against you or us, we, it takes us time to understand that it's going against us. So, so having good stop loss uh, saves us from, from our bad decision. And uh, 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 trade, uh, I mean, like, uh, if we trade stock to stock uh, uh, every day, jumping one stock, second stock, third stock, in a majority of a picture, we we really lose a lot. You know, this, this is something from my thought. If you read this, uh, this is uh, sent to me by one of the very, very great traders. He's, he emailed me this. I copy-pasted here. Uh, read this and this gonna make a lot of sense to you guys you know this is something uh, uh, an email sent to me who is trading from 40 years and he is super successful trader uh, I, I was having a conversation with him on an email and he sent me that I'm gonna be calm uh, quiet for for a minute just read this All right. 
I often mention on my Twitter account 10 cents, you know, what does that mean, you know? Uh, uh, my question to you is, can you uh, make yourself capable enough to predict the probability of a tiny 10 cent move on S&P? S&P move about a dollar to two dollar in a day, you know, it's not moving uh, uh, 50 cents a day, it's not moving 30 cents a day, and vice versa, it's not moving five, 10 cents a day, uh, five, uh, six dollars a day that, that uh, uh, it's difficult to find the probability of the nature of the S&P move, you know. If your answer is yes, uh, then trading E-mini future is the key, you know. E-mini S&P futures move identically as uh, in as, as the S&P move because they, it's, it's, it's the leveraged edition of uh, S&P, so, you know. And 90% of the time, we get high off or low of the day before 12 p.m., you know. So that means it gives us a very good risk ratio candidate where we can have our stop loss, we can get a swing trade up to 10 points, up to 5 points. But I'm saying, can we predict 10 cents move in S&P? Go trade paper money. Go trade um, uh, tr for the next one year, get a job and trade paper money. Get your confidence. 10 cents a day. Next slide is this. Let's assume you can get 10 cents move right in S&P and take one trade a day. Just one trade a day. We're not going to take 100 trades a day. And the result will be if you take five contracts, 10 cents right move in S&P, which will give you $1 move in your e-mini, will give you $50,000 a year. 10 contracts, 100,000, 100 contracts, a million dollar. Let's say you you get two, three, uh, 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 you reach to the level of 100 contracts a day, uh, a move, and you get two or three moves right. You're making two, three million dollars, maybe um, uh, uh, a football player is making that, or, or it's, I mean, I mean, so let's go back. The thing is just to find 10 cents move. I'm not asking $100 move. I mean, it's just a 10 cent move. Ask yourself, think about it. It's, it's a high time. Let's think about it. Can we get 10 cents move right on, on S&P? Then the future belongs to us. So our goal should be to focus on very few trades a day and increase the volume. But the sad part is, you know, most of us are just trading, uh, taking 100 trades a day and 40 trades, 50 trades, 60 trades a day and end up with $100 plus, $100 minus. And so tired, so disappointed and thinking, talking to themselves, this is not made for us. Maybe we should not do this. Every night they think that this is not for us. Every morning they sit in front of the computer uh, talking to themselves that, that today I'm going to make it. One day they make it, second day they lose it. Again, it's 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 just like a, a roller coaster ride for them. That few days we're making, few days we're losing. You know, so we should be focusing focusing on on taking the best risk reward ratio, guys. Do not trade first hour, second hour, third hour. Let's just trade last hour or two hour. Ma majority of the big big pro traders who are making millions of dollars they are e either trading the first hour or the last hour of the market they do not even look at the market in during the daytime so uh, 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 let's let's focus on getting the best risk reward ratio moves which can which can really give us good result at the end of a day how does my setup look? I have two Samsung screens and one laptop. Um, I am a member with TC2000 Platinum because I use day trading. Uh, my, I have accounts with TradeStation, TD Ameritrade, and uh, IB Intraday Brokers. My first screen, I only have S&P where I have 5-minute chart with uh, a 20 uh, uh, EMA where you know like uh, uh, if you see most of the time our uh, when we are in the trading range you know EMA uh, goes around it and at the open this really helps me at the open if we if, if we open here you know like let's say we opened here and w we get this bull uh, bull rally but we have to come back and test our uh, 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 moving average so I short this and then moving every test, I buy this. So, you know, once we're going to go over our live trading, I'm going to discuss all these things with you guys.
My second screen, I have UVX and SVXY, where I have five minutes, you know, like I see which one is moving more aggressively with S&P and I take few trades. And I have Apple, Netflix, Amazon, Google. I change these stocks uh, sometimes, you know, like I have Facebook sometimes. It all depends, you know, like which, which stock is uh, coming. Like uh, other day I had CVS on it. So so it all depends, you know, what, you know, but I have these trades. I try to take a swing trade from 10 minute chart from it. Uh, my uh, the last thing is my laptop in my laptop I take my trades and uh, I take my swing trades and position trades in IB count and day trading and trade station and uh, toss um, the thing is I don't want to micromanage my swing trades because we get emotional when we see too much profit uh, uh, then uh, we sell it but we we miss the major move of the stock what we what we decided we will we will move our stop losses here and there so that tends to <coughs> that tends to give us uh, uh, less profit in a in a trade where we can make a lot of money so uh, swing trades have a stop loss every evening uh, I, I analyze my trade and I move my stop loss and all that but I do not micromanage my swing trades you know I have a problem which I'm working with you know I if if uh, I often see my profit in a day, like how much I have made, how much I have lost or something like that. But when I mix my swing position trade with day trading in the same account, uh, uh, sometimes I'll, uh, I'm talking two, three years ago. I used to lose in day trading and I'm making good in swing trading. I'll, lo I'll sell all my positions. And whereas the next day my swing position would have given me another a few thousand dollars. So... I took that decision a couple of years ago that I will not trade swing trades in the same account I day trade. Monthly, weekly and daily charts. Uh, uh, our day trading is highly influenced by monthly and weekly charts as most of the time our first week of the month is highly influenced by the close of the last month let's say like like yesterday was the last day of the month and we closed very high you know and pullback is due so I'm assuming next week coming week will be a pullback week for us you know and the last week is all uh, uh, often influenced with the formation of the monthly candle like this week which just went all it was all bull 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 we we saw the pullback only on Friday, you know. Uh, so so we have to understand our monthly, weekly, daily charts. And for a day trader, it's very important to analyze in the morning that where are we in the monthly, weekly, and daily uh, uh, charts, you know. If we are in a trading range, we are in a breakout point. Where where are we? What are we doing in these these charts? This can really help us tremendously in our day trading. Live session. Uh, in my live session, I won't tell you when to sell or buy. Instead, I will share my views about the price action and probabilities, uh, so you can become independent in future. You know, um, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in other words, I want to teach you how to fish. You know, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make you dependent on me. One month you are gonna take this live session. A couple of months after that, you don't need me. You don't need nobody out there. You are a human is. Uh, a self-sufficient uh, person you know his brain is self-sufficient we make our brain dependent we make ourselves dependent by saying we cannot do this we can do anything you know so uh, take your own decisions take challenges and you will make a lot of money you know and most of the days between 11 to 2 30 I won't be discussing anything unless something needs attention and um, in my live trading I will be discussing detailed about price action and we will be discussing about a bigger picture wedges and double tops and all that and slowly slowly uh, I'm I'm working on a book I'm working on a good good study material which I'll be presenting you guys very soon that will be very elaborated so basically uh, I, I am uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a very very big fan of Mr. Albrook uh, he has detailed too much th too much in, in his books uh, uh, I just want to bring uh, a price action to you guys in in a layman's language you know which can which can re relate to you in a daily life you know which is not micromanaged which is like we're gonna see the overall bigger picture of it 
I hope this this video makes sense and I hope the live session uh, can can bring all of us more closer we we can you know like uh, uh, we can grow big we can start living our dream and we can uh, we can help other traders you know maybe tomorrow what who is listening to me today maybe tomorrow he he might be uh, he might be next uh, mr. Warren Buffett who he might be next mr. Albrook he might be next uh, uh, Steve Jobs, you know, so you never know, you know, uh, we have to dream and we have to work towards it, you know, we all are human, we all are same, it's just that how much you trust yourself, I trusted myself, I lost a lot of money and I made a lot of money, so I'm trusting myself, you know, so uh, I just want you to show the path to trust yourself, I hope you can trust yourself and make a lot of money. Good luck everybody, see you Monday morning, 9 o'clock, I will be emailing you the link and uh, hopefully we can make a lot of money. Good luck.